Hey Basehead, today the text team will test how a Bose car subwoofer sounds in two different boxes. One is the original Bose car subwoofer enclosure, and the other one is a budget hi-fi class Dantex Sub 2000 bandpass push-pull subwoofer box. The goal is to test if the sound of such Bose subwoofers affected by changing the box. Last time, if you remember, we did a sound and bass test of such Bose car subwoofer together with Logitech satellite speakers, and a Relic Up 25 Stream 2.1 stereo wireless amplifier board. If you somehow missed the previous video, then click on the i button and watch it. The challenge here is to move this Bose subwoofer driver into another box. To put the Bose sub into that tax box, we need an adapter because the Dentax subwoofer used a dual 8 inch subwoofer in a push pull configuration. We take out the Bose subwoofer driver. By the way, the full disassembly of Bose subwoofers can be viewed by clicking more below this video. Here's a small sub itself. Even though it's tiny, something around 6 inch. It still shakes quite well. Pull through a new speaker cable for the sub. We will also put in 100% cotton wool in the sub, because originally it was empty. Screw on the adapter, which we additionally glue on as well. Connect the subwoofer wires, and screw the sub into its new home. We pull the subwoofer cable through one of the ports, and screw the subwoofer box itself very tightly. If you're ready, then let's switch to the base test of both subs. As always, we would appreciate your support in form of leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks, and let's go gamers!